George has been making headlines again, folks. And no, it's not about peaches this time. A judge just threw out parts of a controversial election law. Republicans are fuming, and it's causing quite a stir in the political landscape. Democrats are breathing a sigh of relief. They see this as a victory for voting rights and democracy. And voters, well, they're probably wondering what the hell is going on. It's a confusing time for many. This ruling is a big deal. It's not just a minor tweak. It could have far-reaching implications. It could change how elections work in Georgia and maybe even the whole country. The ripple effects could be significant. Buckle up because we're about to break down this legal roller coaster. Why should you care? Because these changes could affect future elections. Because this isn't just about Georgia. Other states are watching closely and could follow suit. This is about the future of voting rights in America. The stakes are incredibly high, and that's something we should all be paying attention to. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into what this means for you and the country. So, what did this judge actually do? Let's break it down. Basically, he took a close look at parts of Georgia's election law, SB 202, and said nope, not having it. He scrutinized the details and found some serious issues. This law passed in 2021 was supposed to make voting more secure according to Republicans. They argued it was necessary to prevent fraud and ensure election integrity. But critics cried foul, saying it was really about making it harder for people, especially minorities, to vote. They believed it was a deliberate attempt to suppress voter turnout among marginalized communities. Judge Thomas Cox agreed with the critics. He found their arguments compelling and well supported by evidence. He ruled that some parts of the law violated the Voting Rights Act and the Constitution. This decision was a significant blow to the law's proponents. This isn't the first time SB 202 has been challenged in court. There have been multiple legal battles over its provisions, but this ruling is significant because it could have a major impact on upcoming elections. It sets a precedent and could influence how similar laws are viewed and challenged in the future. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty. These rules were part of a larger legislative effort that aimed to overhaul the voting process. One of the biggest issues was the limit on absentee ballot drop boxes. These boxes were crucial for many voters, especially during the pandemic. SB 202 put strict rules on where and when these boxes could be used. The restrictions were so tight that it significantly reduced the number of available drop boxes. Critics argued this made it harder for people who worked long hours or relied on public transportation to vote. Imagine having to choose between your job and your right to vote. The law also made it a crime to give food or water to voters waiting in line. Sounds ridiculous, right? This provision was seen as particularly harsh, but Republicans claimed it was to prevent voter intimidation. They argued that providing food and water could be seen as a form of influence. Opponents called it a blatant attempt to discourage voting in areas with long lines, which often happened to be in predominantly black neighborhoods. This raised serious concerns about voter suppression. These are just a couple of examples of the provisions that were struck down. The legal battles were intense and closely watched. The judge basically said they were discriminatory and unconstitutional. This ruling was a significant victory for voting rights advocates, but the fight is far from over. Section 4. Republicans cry foul why they're fighting the ruling. As you can imagine, Republicans are not happy about this ruling. They're arguing that the judge overstepped his bounds and that the law was necessary to prevent voter fraud. They're planning to appeal the decision, taking the fight to a higher court. They believe they have a strong case and that they can ultimately get the ruling overturned. But legal experts are divided on whether their appeal will be successful. This sets the stage for a protracted legal battle that could drag on for months, maybe even years. Section 5 Georgia on the edge of its seat what happens next? So, what does this mean for the Peach State? Well, it's complicated. The ruling is likely to be put on hold while the appeals process plays out. That means the stricter voting rules could still be in place for the next election. Confused yet? Yeah, it's a mess. This legal back and forth creates uncertainty for voters and election officials alike. One thing's for sure, all eyes will be on Georgia as this case makes its way through the courts. Section 6. Can we trust the system? This case has big implications. This case isn't just about Georgia. It's a microcosm of a much larger battle over voting rights happening across the country. Republicans are pushing for stricter voting laws in many states, while Democrats argue these laws are designed to suppress voter turnout. 
The outcome of this case could have a ripple effect across the nation, setting a precedent for future voting rights litigation. It raises important questions about access to the ballot box and the integrity of our elections. One thing's for sure, this fight is far from over, and the stakes couldn't be higher.